Now that we got the data from our web service, we can work with it and do things with it just like we've done before. Let me add a using here to system diagnostics. And then I can do here a um, debug right line o.order id plus customer o.customer id and then for each in o.details I can say item debug tight line product plus item dot product id plus quantity plus item dot quantity okay let's see what that gives us so when we run this and if we look at our output window we can see that we printed out the order that we've got cool now let's go ahead and submit changes to the server using the update or insert method of our web service so let's take order 10 249 and let's just refactor this for a second and say print order to debug okay and then we'll go over all the items in the order and say that the quantity plus plus, which means we want to add an item, we add a quant one item of quantity to all of them. Okay? And then we're going to post it using our client. We're going to say update, insert or update order with the values that we've sent, sorry, with our order. So what are we actually doing here? We're getting the order from the server, we're printing it to the debug output, we're changing the quantities of everything and sending it to the server. Okay, so we're updating the server with the new quantities. Now, how can we know that the data was updated correctly? We we'll say here var y um, client.getOrder10249 and we'll print the order again and see that the changes that we've made were actually saved. So let's follow this code. Let's put a breakpoint over here and see what happens. We're going to call demo consume web service and we'll clear our output window and we can see here that we've got 1024 with customer tor2, product 3 has quantity of 4, product 14 has quantity of 9 and product 51 has quantity of 40. Perfect. And we're going to move forward and every item has the quantity and when we update it we'll be seeing that it changed to 5 and this one changed to 10 and this one changed for 40 and now we are going to call the insert or update order which caused the web service to actually update the order and now we're going to get order y we'll see that the values were actually updated on the server 4 was changed to 5, 9 was changed to 10, and 40 was changed to 41. So the beauty about what we're seeing over here is that Microsoft completely abstracted out from us the entire subtleties of how web services communicate. You don't need to care about XML, you don't need to care about SOAP, you don't need to do anything about it when you're working with web services. It generates this cool little client class that just does all of that work for you. You don't really care about it. In later videos, we'll show you what to do when you actually do care, I and mean, when you have to work with WSDLs uh, or with XSDs that you don't have the WSDL for. But when you have the WSDL, it's this simple to use.